Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? Let me know in the comments how y'all doing. Today, we got Rappers Are Scared of Kendrick. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, subscribe, join the fam, and leave a comment. Let me know how y'all doing, and yeah, let's get it. Kendrick Lamar is terrifying to his fellow rappers, not just in the wake of his recent activity, but long before he was ever as battle-tested fellow rappers, not just in the wake of his recent act. You see these numbers? Activity. But 20 mil, 25 mil, 24, oh my Long god. Long before he was ever as battle tested as he is now. At the minute, hip hop is basking in the landscape where he destroyed Drake so savagely that his name mm. is now being used as an acronym to warn others. So, I'm rap against Kendrick ever. Ever? Yeah. You didn't sit home with the fucking Blackberry or the phone <laughs> composition book and write acronyms for your own but while Drake's defeat at KDOT's <laughs> hands has proven exactly why so few have gone at Kendrick over the years. The fact that he even brought up Blackberry, bro, you can... Yeah, he's a boomer for sure. <laughs> what is it that makes his reputation so fierce in the first place? Well, there's actually a variety of factors that made it clear to the whole world that Kendrick wasn't a man to trifle with. My name is Luesta, and this is why rappers are scared of Kendrick Lamar. Bro, I'm gonna die. There's a lot of some. angles to tackle why Kendrick has such a reputation for being one of the MCs that you just don't attempt to rhyme against. But one of the main reasons is that the reverence that the culture has for him trickles down to the top of the industry. Co signed by not to pause it already, right? But yesterday, either yesterday or day before, I was on Twitter and I saw an old clip of Kendrick Lamar like battle rapping. And I'm like, wait a minute, he battle rap? Wait, he's so battle rap? I had no idea. I'm like, damn. I thought like he was all like spiritual and trying, like, you know, trying to like uplift the people and whatnot. And like, I didn't even know he was battle rapping. I'm like, after the diss track, I should have known, but I just thought like, you know, he would just push into a corner that he just had to tap into that side. But I didn't know like, he always had that side, so yeah. By Dr. Dre and passed the torch to the West Coast by Snoop Dogg, The Game, Corrupt, and every other OG you can think of. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna think this. Nigga, you got the torch, nigga, you better run. Damn. Even the legendary Eminem once thought that his pen game couldn't possibly live up to the hype. The thing with Eminem was crazy to me. He kicks everybody out the studio. I, just, I took it as him kicking everybody out to see if that's really you. Writing them rap. Oh, that's yes, your right. <laughs> you okay, get what I'm saying? With Eminem known to be upset at rappers who use ghostwriters, that's a pretty fair assumption. But as Ed Sheeran remembered, he soon found out exactly why K Dot was given so many props by people that he respected. Eminem, he'd heard that Kendrick Lamar was the best rapper, and he invited him to the studio to get, get him on a song. And he arrived, and Kendrick came with all his mates. And uh, Eminem said, um, I just want you in the studio, just you on your own. And then my engineer is going to come in and then record you doing it, but your mates aren't allowed in. And then that's one thing I wish rappers would do more. Well, like artists in general, is show like some studio footage. Let me see you cook, bro. I want to see the, the chef. I want to watch like I'm watch. I want to feel like I'm watching the Food Network, bro. I want to see you cook in the studio, bro. I'm not saying like all the time because, of course, you want to leak sh uh, like stuff or whatnot, but like. A little snippet here and there, you like bustle a freestyle in the, in the booth, you write in a few lines, like, we want to see it, bro. Kendrick did it. It's kind of like the whole, like, on Kanye documentary, like, how he show like, him in the booth, him, like, the process. We need that, bro. We need, for Drake to be considered one of the best rappers of all time, we need one of those documents that show Drake in the studio. If we don't have any footage of Drake in the studio, like, actually putting in the work bro i don't wanna yeah i don't i wouldn't even consider that because we don't have no proof bro the sick verse. it could be it could be like ghost writers from from the beginning to the end of the song and we won't even know it <laughs> and then all everyone came in to listen to it and eminem said he did it to test kendrick because he thought he had a ghost writer and he then realized that he didn't and then claimed that he was the best. Ever since the two of them collaborated on Love Game off the Marshall Mathers LP2, Eminem has known that Lamar is among the elites in the game. And in a rare show of vulnerability from Shady, he suggested that he would think twice about coming for Kendrick. It's the same thing if I get on a, getting on a track with Kendrick. I can mm. never tell what the fuck he's gonna do. Right. Because <laughs> he's such a communal of styles and he can fucking do any, pretty much anything, right? right. And, he's, and he's so proficient at it, he's so good at it, and you don't know what you're gonna get. 
but yeah. M, but M, give yourself credit too. You're the same. I think of you like the same way. You never know what you what side of Eminem you're gonna get, bro. Like this man can be serious. He could be a com like a comedian. He can be like you never know what side of M. To you me, can it's get. like a top tier lyricist because it's like you don't you can get your ass kicked any day besides mm. overshadowing rappers on features k dot never had to square off with other mcs in the same way that shady had to in his career but he always insisted that he had it in him to i wonder why to shreds even after he became a mainstream star his entire section 80 campaign basically revolved around the claim that he would kill your favorite rapper then on damn's element he issued a warning that all they had to do was say his name and they'll see Candyman. then Ooh. after winning a pulitzer prize he let his colleagues know what time it was on rich spirit where he told them to stop playing with him before he turns you into a song. Stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. Now, in the wake of Aubrey's demolition and J. Cole waving the white flag, we know that Damn. wasn't an idle threat. Kendrick was predicting the future because right now everybody danced to not like us. <laughs> hey, Kendrick did warn him, so God. As over these past few weeks, he's left massive footprints Damn. on their legacies. As they struggle to pick themselves back up, you can imagine that no one will be stepping to Dot anytime soon. But long before everything that followed Kendrick's declaration of fuck the big three, it's just big me went down, rappers already showed a real reluctance to cross him. In fact, when they mm. let their ego get in the way and spoke out against him, they usually decided to pay homage instead. Because although he had never really been in a battle until Drake thought he could take him on, he already proved how much his presence and the chatter around your career can do with Big Sean. In many ways, Big Sean is pretty much the reason why Kendrick is going at Drake in the first place. By oh, now, really? we all know about KDOT's infamous verse on Control, where he hijacked Big Sean's track to let the whole industry know that even though he had love for them, he was trying to murder them and take their fans. At the same time, Big Sean insisted that he didn't even- That's see, Kendrick was always hungry, bro. That's, that's what I like about him, bro. Like, Kendrick is not with all the- buddy buddy on social media with every popping artist trying to take pictures trying to be on tiktok with a trending like nah bro like people always say oh kendrick only dropped this this amount in this amount of years yeah because he's an artist that like to experience things which take time and turn it into art bro when you have people like Drake who have hella ghostwriters, he can drop a song almost every other day because it's not coming from him. It's not his experience. And that's why people are saying, like, Drake always been an actor, bro. Like, he has so many personalities. And you can see over the years, like, each year the different personality of Drake, bro. <laughs> And get bodied on the track even though he opted to leave it off his hall of fame album that it was originally intended to be on but he never really managed to escape its shadow i put that work in like you're not going to disrespect me i i hop on any track with anybody and i will not only stand my own you're gonna know mm. that is my verse and you're gonna know i'm that's I'm, what i like I'm okay, except, except for control Kendrick Washington, you want to <laughs> Stop it. Sean, come on Stop now. It. Come it. on. And how long, how long ago was that? One year. Oh, my God, right. bro. You got back. You're okay, right. Everybody okay. You're right. 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 And I still don't feel like I got washed anyway. No, nah, you got washed on the Whatever. Nah, you got Your opinion. See, that's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't focus on people's opinions. You right. know why? Because that's going to throw you off. Although he never fully accepted that there was beef, Big Sean did attempt to throw subliminal shots at Dot from time to time. For example, on songs like Me, Myself, and I and No More Interviews, people felt like the Detroit rapper was aiming at Kendrick's rapping style. But I as is hate, often the case, Kendrick shit, never even acknowledged that anything was going down. Then, if he going to rap about somebody, bro, call their name, bro. This little sub tweeting, sub, sub subliminal all this extra bro just call the name bro like on the hard part four <laughs> like, he let the on. world know that he heard what was being said and that if he kept pushing big sean would get what he thought he wanted my fans can't wait for me to sun your punk ass and crush your whole little shit I'll be pawn your punk ass, you a scared little bitch. While he never got a formal diss track dedicated to him, Big Sean was informed in no uncertain terms that Kendrick would come at his neck whenever he wanted to. Meanwhile, the control situation left such a permanent imprint on Big Sean's career that you can almost divide it between the time before that verse and everything that happened after. And in a move that has really set the tone for how people come out of the other side of squabbling with Kendrick, Big Sean speaks of him with nothing but admiration now and basically acts as if there was never a problem in the first place. The whole Ken, Big, Big Sean Kendrick beef was going on. It was something I wish I would have spoke up about because there was nothing. So then I remember going mm -hmm. online and seeing like, oh, is he talking about Kendrick? Because I'm talking about people who rap fast. I wasn't beefing with nobody. Insisting that he didn't want any problems, now Big Sean still down. had to acknowledge <laughs> that the whole thing has haunted him for years. And in every verse I do, 
people would be like, oh, is this a response? Is this a response? And I'm like, it's like, damn, I can't even show no aggression. People think it's a damn response. It got to a point where somehow it was just a weird tension between me and him, even though it was already said it wasn't no beef because people made it that way, right? Mm. Although Big Sean probably got the raw end of the deal out of control, there is another man on the track who goes by the name of Jay Electronica. And although he was Ooh. regarded as one of the world's greatest MCs at the time, he didn't oh, escape really? unscathed either. Basically, Jay Elect didn't appreciate the fact that people were saying Kendrick beat him on the track. In fact, he said that Dot was envious of him. Kendrick will body you. Look, you couldn't pay Kendrick a million dollars. Kendrick wouldn't tell you. Kendrick could tell you himself he couldn't body me. Kendrick, look, Kendrick is nah, my bro. son. Kendrick is my baby. Kendrick wishes that he could be me. <laughs> Followed up with his verse on The Curse of Mayweather, where he Bro, saying another man is your baby is kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Another grown man, bro, <laughs> as my son, I'd be like, okay, cool. But saying baby, nah, bro. <laughs> he got 11 Grammy nominations, Yama Equal, Man Fuck These White People, which refers to the amount of Grammys Kendrick won at the time. He followed it up with, My grandmother died at 82 scrubbing floors, and rappers still running around begging for awards. Mm. Jay Lake looked like he was practically begging for Yeah, let that one hit. Then, Ooh. from out of nowhere, he seemed to have a change of heart and was giving Dot his flowers all of a sudden. Lastly, peace to K Dot and TDE, because regardless to whom or what, we're brothers fighting the same energy. Forgive my past energy. Although it's unclear what made him switch up like that, Jay, like many rappers we're going to discuss, was another man who folded on Dot when he was put to the test. For the most part, hip hop's response to Kendrick's name drops on control not only laid the groundwork for the Drake beef, but it also set the precedent for how rappers would tiptoe around him. At the time, there were tons of responses to control, but they all seemed like they were carefully towing the line as to not go too far. For example, after feeling angered that Slaughterhouse were left out of the shoutouts, one of the group's members, Joel Ortiz, responded with the vicious track titled out of control where he let kendrick have it listening you the king of new york little homie you ain't the king of new york you the next thing on my floor but later on he would do an interview with Vi you think you're the king of new york you're not the king of new york you're the next thing on my floor i know kendrick ain't even gonna read I know, I hope Kendrick didn't re respond to this, bro. Don't even waste your time, bro. I <laughs> say that he was actually saluting Kendrick for the most part. As for the notoriously fearless Joe Budden, he was hosting a live stream for the response track only to opt out and not release it. Amid responses from Papoose and others, Kendrick remained so calm about the whole thing that it would be impossible for it to not strike fear in their hearts. How are you feeling about uh, all, the, um, all the comebacks lately from your uh, control verse? You gotta try harder. So when they all backed down, it really made the whole culture realize that Lamar was to be treated with respect. Basically, there's always a caveat when it comes to KDOT slander, rather than anyone really coming for his neck. I mean, just look at what happened to French Montana when he attempted to diss him. Over the years, hmm. French has had a few things to say about Kendrick. First off, he claimed that he was being pushed by the industry. Why do you think Kendrick sells more than like street rappers? Um, cause they, cause they position him like how they did in the Grammys as, as, as the new music. But well, I don't feel like that's, you know, it's not, not, it's not that it's not the right thing to do, but I just feel like they, you see, it was like the whole thing was like Kendrick Knight. Then, more ridiculously, he said that he had more hits than him, only to be clowned relentlessly by the internet. If we're just talking about anthems, me versus Kendrick hit for him. Bro, French, you talk about bullshit, all right? Kendrick talk about like real life problems and situations and stuff. Like he'll talk his stuff sometimes, but he also will address some 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 stuff that needs to be addressed bro that goes way beyond music so i mean come on hit i believe i can go neck to neck i've been making hits for a long time i love kendrick that's not just for kendrick that's for anybody they put in front of me however not everyone agreed with this i mean even other rappers like, hopped on the on, bandwagon bro. to mock him for it stupid and he said he got more hits than kendrick lamar thank you like come on bro like calm down bro fool the man said he got more hits than me and kendrick but while he had smoke for Thug and engaged in a war of words with him over it, French Montana never tried to provoke KDOT any further. And now, just like everyone else, French has since basically apologized for even thinking he could mess with him and said he was just in his feelings at the time. I was just heated I ain't win a Grammy for, for Unforgettable. That's what it was? Yeah, but well, Kendrick is my dog. Like, but just just that one 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 day at the interview, I was just so heated that I ain't win, and he was the winner. And I was just like, yo, 
but I fuck with Kendrick. I fuck, I fuck with the whole um with the whole team. Opting to say that he was in the wrong rather than say Kendrick okay, had face. any part in it. <laughs> this is a rare show of humility for a rapper. And while Cole has been taking all the flack for getting up on that Dreamville festival stage and saying that his seven minute drill diss song towards Kendrick didn't sit right with his spirit and would be deleted off streaming services. When I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make mm. me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. History shows that he's not the first person to make his apologies to Kendrick. And maybe fear of being dismantled on a verse. And everybody trying to clown J. Cole for backing out. Bro, he did the smart thing, bro. <laughs> wasn't the only reason. Although his immense talents on the mic are one major factor, French extending his love to Kendrick's whole team is important. Because as these rappers likely learned before going at his neck, messing with Kendrick requires you to go up against an army. And while Kendrick might have been a good kid in a mad city, he's got a whole city behind him. And there's something dangerous about Kendrick that not a lot of people speak about. Growing up in Compton, Kendrick was exposed to the gang lifestyle early on, and many of his best friends were active members. Then, after joining TDE, he suddenly found himself in the midst of the Bounty Hunter Bloods and Hoover Crips as he teamed up with fellow label mates Schoolboy Q and J-Rock as well as a whole host of other people who were repping sets. Recently, Kendrick's gang ties have come under the microscope again. Because oh, really? if the rumors are true, Cole might have received a tip to back off from the beef that sounds not too dissimilar to what you'd see on the streets from Schoolboy Q. Reporting from Dreamville Festival, an unnamed source revealed that it was actually Schoolboy Q who allegedly warned J. Cole to stop beefing with Kendrick before the apology. I'm not specifying Damn. what kind of warning, whether it was a bullying move, a Debo-like maneuver, or just a friendly heads up. I don't think it matters at this point. Point. But based on what Punch, TDE's president, said, I think they gave him what he needed to hear to bow out of the battle with as much grace as possible. Whether he was letting him know what kind of heat Kada. Hey, Kada probably has some dirt that J. Cole was not trying to have the whole country, the whole world trying to hear. So he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna let's leave Drake. He got this, bro. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm sorry, Kendrick. You're the GOAT. I'm out. <laughs> had in store for Drake with the abuse allegations or telling him to ease up before things got dangerous, this whole situation proves that whatever Kendrick is getting involved in, the streets he grew up on have his back. In terms of gangs, Kendrick has long been rumored to have connections to the West Side Pie Roots. In addition to his Damn. affiliation to the Red Side of the city, Kendrick also has uncles who are Crips, several of which have served lengthy jail terms for gang-related activity and armed robbery, and he's still locked in with them to this very day. Does the crew come out every time you come to Compton? Yeah. <laughs> as a result of his connections, as well as old pictures of Kendrick dressed in red, Drake's recent assessment that he isn't affiliated to a set on his new track, Family Matters, has been ridiculed by people from Compton. While at the same time, respecting Kendrick's desire to withhold that from becoming a big part of his identity. Drake says you don't bang a set. And he says the game bangs a set. Even Chris Brown bangs a set. He just don't know. Isn't that Kendrick. snitching though? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like, has, has Kendrick renounced his hood, hood affiliation at some nah, point? Kendrick just don't be private and so like priding himself off of his gang culture. So I guess people think that he a non-affiliate. I don't know if we posted, but to you be know, honest, I, I didn't even know. Obviously, like the, yeah, the fact is Kendrick severely <laughs> downplays gang affiliation. The push-ups was in yeah. his hood, wasn't they? The push-ups that you know. talk about, they at the park. Once again, the clues for Cali having his back have all been there. In the music. On Section 80's Poe Man Dreams, Kendrick has a line where he says, the city got my back before that I give them my torso. You think about it. Basically, what he's saying here is that he can say things with his chest because he knows that he has the city behind him. And when you look close at those videos of Not Like Us going off in the club, Bro, you everywhere. should definitely feel more confident in that than ever. But while this could be taken literally for the whole state of California, that line Boy, that may song is such a hit to his gang ties. In an interview from back in the day, Snoop Dogg went into more detail about this. It's just that he's he's a nice guy, so I'm gonna have a problem with it because he doesn't have a gangster approach. But let me let y'all know, he got a hundred thousand motherfucking gangsters with him. So hmm. y'all better watch what y'all say. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Keep it hip hop, cause that's what it's <laughs> all hip hop. In spite of the fact Kendrick that Kendrick is him. hasn't ever definitively said he was a gangbanger, what we do know is that there are times in his life where he moved like one. Back in the day, Dot tried to intimidate AD of the No Jumper podcast and back on Fig because Kendrick thought he was from a rival neighborhood. Hey, you wanna know a crazy thing about Kendrick, bro? My first encounter with him, he thought I was somebody else, bro. He, he low-key tried to press me. 
Who? Kendrick Lamar. Who do you think you were? Gorilla Black. From a different hood. I guess like, I guess some niggas jumped him back in the day. And I came to the studio and he was mad. He was like, hey, you from Almond Block? And I was like, nah, but he was hot. Damn. Where's Almond Block? No, Almond Block is another hood in Compton. Mm. And I was like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. He thought you were lying. And he was like, you is from Almond Block. I'm like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. I'm over here. He he was like, all right. And then we was cool after that. But 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 he was mad though. No, he was mad. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was like, he was mad. Like, like yeah, if, I, if I was from Almond Block, he would have got his get back on me that day. From the that, gang members, mm. which regularly appear in his music videos, the musical appears like mustard, proving that they'll throw away any other relationship to ride for his Cali comrade. Dot's status as King of the West Coast and everything that entails it would make anyone think twice before coming at him. But while there was speculation that Kendrick wasn't to be taken lightly, it's safe to say that this Drake battle has made that crystal clear. Although Ovio stands like Maul or Academics may argue otherwise, there's no denying that Kendrick won. Bro, nah, Academic just bias, bro. He's a crowd show for Drake. No matter what, bro, Drake can be arrested for the worst. Bro, Academics is right there. <laughs> right there, ready to bail him out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Bearing the music itself, the fact that he overthrew Drake's record for the highest streams for a rap song in a day with a track mm. where he calls him a sex offender, it's just diabolical. Now, fans are waking up to the fact that he just wasn't to be messed with. I knew Kendrick Lamar was a dude that needed to be left alone when that video of him doing burpees in a parking lot while listening to oldies dropped. Something is clearly wrong with him. Look at this fucking <laughs> psychopath. His willingness to take a rapper out aside, what's happening to Drizzy these days further explains to why he wasn't challenged before now. Because while people have been throwing jabs at Drake for years, it doesn't matter if they don't hit the general public. But with Kendrick, you have a rare mix of someone who isn't just obscenely skilled, but also has the platform to slander you and reach huge audiences. Mm. It's the fear of embarrassment. He's a better rapper than almost everyone in the industry skill-wise. He can do both mainstream and underground style music when most artists just choose one and never change. Because he can immortalize you in a negative light in the form of a classic hit. If you needed proof that this is a real thing, Dangerous, just look at this bro. school teacher's comments about the change in tone around Drake in the wake of Not Like Us dropping. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song to put on my class playlist. If I ask people <laughs> what they're listening to in their headphones, Drake. The week after the leak was a nightmare. But today, I walk in and I can feel that there has been a tectonic shift. Oh my god. This is a Kendrick school now. I pulled my classes on what they thought and they were ready to throw down for Kendrick. I had like one Drake defender in each class, if that. And honestly, I feel bad for those kids because they were getting screamed at. As people move to the sides, <laughs> he has even hit Drake in his pockets. According to Billboard, from May 3rd to May 6th, Lamar's discography earned around 50 million streams, up 49% from the previous Friday to Monday tracking period. I did, I did, okay, so I seen an article, I don't know how true it is, that Kendrick Lamar just bought a $40 million mansion, bro, I'm about to hit the studio, fuck, bro, I'm about to diss somebody, oh, hell no. Meanwhile, Drake's overall catalog mil? is actually down, when you similarly compare his streams from that weekend to last weekend, and remove his two streaming available response tracks, push-ups, and family matters. Although Kendrick won't overtake Drake's streaming numbers as a whole, what is clear is that Kendrick's versatility has proven to be a weapon, and as Eminem suggested earlier, one of the reasons why it's not advisable to test him. You go through all these records from Like That to Euphoria to 616 in LA to Meet the Grams to Not Like Us, none of those records sound the same at all. It's the widest range I've ever seen in the amount of time in any disc battle ever. When it comes to the rapping mm -hmm. and the music, fuck all like the timeline or what's true and what's not true, who's rapping and who is putting out the better records. Kendrick Lamar checked every fucking box sonically that you could think of. From his pen game to his potential Facts. gang ties, there are lots of reasons why Kendrick is feared. But the biggest reason of all should be how seriously he takes his craft. I'm so passionate about hip hop, man. Like, I don't know what era everybody else come from, but I listen, man. Like we play Take house time. Party, bro, every night. I love it to a point I can't even describe it. And when I heard these artists say they're the best coming up, I said, I'm not doing it to have a good song mm -hmm. or one good rap or a good hook. Mm -hmm. Mm. or a good bridge. I want to keep doing it every time, period. And to do it every time, you have to challenge yourself and you have to confirm to yourself that you're the best, mm. period. This explains the responsibility so he humble, feels to bro. uphold standards, as well as why Drake taking the culture without giving back bothers him so much. This is not something you just play with. You know, you you know what? You know what's a good comparison? Kendrick Lamar 
it reminds me of Larry Bird. A very nice guy. You'll never think any negativity or anything that's, you know, that's going to taint him. But when it comes to the thing they're passionate about, Larry Bird will talk crap before, after, and before, during, and after the game. And, like, this man is just a straight killer. Kendrick, nice dude. He has a whole West Coast behind him. Affiliated, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, good dude, but has a bad side. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, about that life. Get some few dollars and get out, you know? People live their lives to this music. It's my partners in the hood right now. They listen to rap every day. Is that J. Cole? the only thing that can relate to their stories and their tribulations you have to take in consideration what you write down on that paper and if you're not doing it to say the most impactful you're doing it to be the best you can be for the Nipsey? listening what, mm. are we doing? what are we doing here always want to keep his bro did i said nepsy and this means it's a nepsy bro sword sharp kendrick would never weekend. allow himself to lose with that kind of mindset in a genre where other rappers lose their hunger over time kada has yeah. always stayed as determined to prove himself as when overly dedicated dropped at the same time never bothering anyone unless he feels provoked to explain why kendrick is among the most feared rappers of any era we need to borrow a phrase that dates back to roman times if you want peace prepare for war whether you may realize it or not kendrick stays mm. ready and after destroying drake he's probably bought himself a whole lot of that coveted peaceful life for decades Decades to come unless someone is stupid enough to ignore these warnings and try him again yo that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed please as always like comment subscribe and i'll see you for the next one